So recently this year, I switched from uh, Premiere Pro to uh, DaVinci, like many people have. Um, one of the biggest issues that I had with it was um, being able to sync up uh, ceremony um, videos and, and audio because um, I run three to four cameras every wedding and I usually have about four to six audio sources as well. Um, DaVinci just was very underwhelming with um, the multi-camera sequence. So I searched the internet like up and down and, and tried to find a way that it would kind of mimic the way that Premiere Pro did with the multicam sequence. Um, more specifically, what I'm looking for is the simplified sequence, which we're going to show you what I mean here. Um, I could not find anything at all on the internet that had a uh, simplified sequence for DaVinci. So every time I did a multicam sequence, I ended up with um, like 25, 30, 40 um, audio tracks, 25, 30, 40 video tracks as well. Um, and it really, there was no easy way to just one button, press it and get it all um, down onto a couple of tracks like Premiere Pro. So um, first I'm gonna start here with Premiere Pro, show how that works. Um, I'll do that very quickly because this is more about, about um, uh, DaVinci and how to do this um, so that we can kind of see how they work. First what we'll do here is open up Premiere Pro um, this is a wedding that I already edited um, from last summer in uh, 2023. Uh, it had a lot of um, a lot of starting and stopping. Typically, what I do is just click the record button at the beginning on all of my cameras and just let them all roll, so I can make it a little easier. Um, for some reason, I don't know why I didn't do that on this one. I, I kept starting and stopping on my uh, A cam, the one that was holding in my hand. So uh, I thought this was a good. Um, wedding to use to show you how um, this works. It's going to create a lot of tracks and we're going to be able to put them back down where they need to go. So I kind of skipped ahead here real quick. Um, we all know how to import into Premiere Pro if you're coming from there. Um, so on here I have uh, my ceremony, um, all three cameras placed in there uh, as well as all the uh, audio tracks into a bin and then I also have a uh, sequence made already for the ceremony. So um, typically what you do is you just go into the folder of the ceremony. Whoops. Um, all my audio tracks are there as well. I think there was, a, there was only four for this wedding that I uh, used. I, I recorded more, but there's only four that I was gonna use. So um, typically what you do is control A. To backtrack a little bit, what I normally do is um, create a folder that's just ceremony. It has all the tracks that I'm gonna need or all, all the clips and all the audio that I'm going to need all in one folder. That way I can do this easier. And we're going to do the same thing over on uh, DaVinci. So I'm going to go into the folder that's for uh, the ceremony. Um, double click it, control A on all the clips, all the audio and uh, video clips. We're going to come down here, create multi-cam sequence, um, name it ceremony. Obviously we, we all know to use uh, audio for the synchronization point. Um, have the sequence setting on all cameras and hit OK. This is going to take a little while, so we'll jump forward here in a second. Uh, I just want to add to this. I'm sure most everyone knows this already, but having your audio damn near perfect on the wedding day is going to make all this 10 times easier. Um, there are going to be a couple of tracks here that do not um, sync up because I, I recorded some of the family members as they were coming in, so there's no other audio to match up to it. So those are going to be the ones that uh, did not synchronize. We'll see that here in a second. Um, Something that I started doing toward the end of the year last year is um, that really, really worked out, and I and I haven't had any trouble syncing anything at all. Is I use the DJI mics. I have uh, the transmitter on my main camera that I'm always running around with because if I'm in the back of the uh, back of a church or the back of a ceremony, you know, sometimes the audio is just not very loud, and I get in the front and it's too loud and blown out um, from the uh, the scratch audio from the camera. So what I'll do is use the DJI mics i'll i'll hook one of the mics into my uh, x8 recorder or i'll hook it into a speaker as well with just a three and a half um millimeter jack and all the audio that's happening from the ceremony is going straight into my camera and it's perfectly clear audio so it makes it really really easy to um uh, to synchronize and post later on. Um, the second DJI mic, I usually just have, I'll throw that and a, uh, and a Tascam DR10L on the Officiant. Um, sometimes they, 
they're not happy I put two mics on them, but most of them are, they understand after I explain it. So that second mic is just getting all the audio from him because he's the main person talking during the day. So, all right. So um, this all synchronized. Um, like I said, these, these clips up here um, are just kind of the, the family before the, uh, the ceremony or re like really short clips. So they didn't synchronize. It's not a big deal. It's nothing I would use for the uh, ceremony video anyways. So um, we have all of our process clips down here. Uh, looks perfect just the way we wanted. Go back to here. So after, uh, after we get that done, um, rather than just pulling the, this, um, this new sequence that it made, um, the multicam sequence down here, and it, you know, it gets, you get whatever this is, which obviously doesn't work for us. Um, what we do here is we just go over here, right click, um, go to simplify sequence. And this is what I think Da Vinci is, is kind of missing, but we're going to, um, we're going to figure out a way to do this. So we hit simplify sequence. Um, we're going to name the sequence ceremony. Uh, close vertical uh, gaps on video tracks. And then we are going to hit simplify. So what that's going to do is you can see here, it's just going to keep everything all on as few tracks as possible. So, you know, this is all my, uh, my a cam once in a while, it will do it, it it'll do this will add extra tracks because it's I don't even know what it's, it's doing really. Um, and then I can kind of just pull everything down real simply. And now I have uh, a real simplified sequence. Um, and then for the audio, I, it always adds, and I don't even know why it does this. It always adds the audio that I'm going to use, um, up here on the first four tracks. So then I can just come over here unlink everything and go down and delete all these unused audio tracks, which I have 79 of. So we're just going to delete. We're then going to come over here. We're going to delete tracks, delete all unused audio and video tracks and boom, that's it. That's simple. We're down to three video tracks and four audio tracks. And that's perfect. That's exactly where I wanted to start editing. Uh, da Vinci, I searched all over the internet. I've, I've asked other people and they all had different ways that they do this. And just none of it I thought worked this quickly. This is quick. Premiere Pro is great with this. It, 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 it works perfectly. You know, I can kind of scrub through this and everything is there. Um, you know, I'll just kind of uh, move through it a little bit. I can see everything is is synchronized real well. And, you know, I, I love this. This is great. Uh, so we'll now move on to Da Vinci on how we simplify this. Okay, so now we're on to uh, Da Vinci. I already have everything dragged over into... Um, onto the media page. Um, the first page here, I created a bin that just is called uh, ceremony. Um, so again, that's what I'll do for every wedding is, you know, I don't put my A cam, B cam or anything. I, I create um, several folders based on the events that are happening for the day. So anything pre-ceremony, uh, getting ready has its own folder. The speeches have its own folder and everything. So um, ceremony here has its own folder. Um, you can see everything is added in here. I have three different cameras and um, four external audio sources. So we're going to go through here and uh, see how we do this. So uh, first, this is from a few from a few people. This is um, the wrong way that uh, I've learned how to do it on DaVinci. Um, we'll go through that first, and I'm going to show you the way that I do it to be able to simplify the sequence. So, so what I've seen a lot of people do is we'll just come over here, control a, go up to create new multicam clip using selected clips. Um, we'll call it ceremony and, um, ignore my frame rate at 24. That's wrong. Um, and then they, the angle sync would be sound, which is, uh, syncing everything from, uh, the sound waves, which is what we want. Um, and then, they leave everything else go. Something I also like to do is hit the uh, move source clips to your originals bin. That's going to show me everything that was not synchronized. Okay. Uh, if you don't click that, it's just going to leave it all in, in the pin exactly where it was, which is fine. 
But uh, when we do that, it's going any of the clips that didn't get synch blah, blah, did not get synchronized are going to end up elsewhere so I can see uh, what I need to get back in there. So we can see now everything that was um, synchronized is in this folder over here that says original clips. Uh, we can see that this is stuff that got synchronized. Um, come back over here, ceremony. This is the <laughs> um, multicam sequence. We're going to get there in a second. And these are all the clips that did not synchronize. So which is which is fine. So this like this clip is just like three seconds from behind. There there wasn't enough audio to be able to synchronize it. Um, so, you know, this might be the only clip here that I, I, I'd want to get in there of the, uh, the groom walking down with the uh, officiant. But again, you can hear there is absolutely no audio for it to uh, match up to. So um, we can manually do that. It's not a big deal. So what we'll do is we would then come over here. We'll go to master. We'll create a timeline. Um, we'll just call it, call it ceremony. I spelled that right. We'll call it ceremony create. Um, and then we would drag this down here. I guess I can just click this. Um, and we all know what this looks like and, and, and how to fix it. Just right click and um, go up to open timeline and it'll give us all the clips that we want. Okay. So here is the, the issue that I'm, I'm sure a lot of people had and the issue that I had with DaVinci is we have all these clips on, you know, 23 video tracks and I'm sure it's in this in 23 um, audio tracks as well so to be able to delete each each one of these and bring them down all on a couple of timelines is um, no fun it's <laughs> it's it, it's kind of a pain in the ass to be honest um, so this is the way I, I don't want to do it. I want this all very, very simplified. Um, so I can see it all without having a, you know, without having to scroll up and down and, and, and look for anything. So we're going to go back, we're going to reset, and we're going to show you how, um, we can get this all on two timelines with just a couple of clicks. Okay. So, uh, for the simplified, uh, for the simplified sequence here, um, the first thing we want to do is I removed everything from DaVinci um, and we're going to pretty much start from scratch because we want to get this done as soon as we're importing into the uh, into the media page all of our um, our cameras. So um, I have it up here on another screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag. I, I still have my uh, ceremony folder way over here um, that we're all adding this into the ceremony folder. We still want the same thing. So I'm going to bring these over here. Don't change. Um, before I drag any of the other cameras in, this is my A camera, my handheld camera that I have on me. Um, we're going to make a change. Okay. So what we're going to do is we want this tab, this camera ang or this camera number and camera angle. You can use either one of them. It does not matter. I just choose to use camera number and how you get there is make sure you have the, uh, the details view over, um, here under the media poll page. That way you can see all this stuff, right click and find the camera, camera number up here. Um, make sure that's on. Okay. You can turn a lot of this stuff off if you don't feel like you need it or anything, but you want that camera number on. And I also leave the, uh, the camera angle on as well. Um, either one's fine. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to come down here. We're going to add all of the, the, this is all my a cam. Um, they all have the same name. Um, and I'm going to add. A, or you can add your camera numbers, A, B, C, D, whatever, um, whatever you want to do there. But I add A to each one of these. I haven't really found a quick way to add A to all of them yet. I've still been kind of um, poking around with that. Well, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. But um, this is the only kind of pain is I have to go through and, and hit each one of these and um, put A on each on all of them but typically on a wedding i will not have this many clips <laughs> all right so there that one's done um and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna bring our b cam which was one camera we're gonna go over here we're gonna put b and we're gonna go to our third camera we're gonna drag it in we're gonna drop it 
and we'll go get our audio. Oh, there it is. And we're going to drop it in there. Uh, the audio, um, I I want on its all on separate tracks anyway. So we're not going to do anything with that. We're not going to name it. Um, it does already have a camera number there if you're using um, the Tascams. Um, I use a Tascam X8 and the DR10Ls. Um, they already come with a camera name on them, so that's kind of nice. Um, so what we're going to do then is this is exactly what we need. We have our A, B, C. Okay, so now that we have all the uh, cameras named and everything, we're going to go over here. We're going to control all everything. Oh, we're going to right-click. We're going to go up to create new multicam sequence clip. I'm just going to name it Ceremony. That's fine. Um, angle sync is still going to be sound. You want to leave it there. You want to keep it there. Um, that way we're um, synchronizing off of um, uh, audio waves. Um, so the thing that we're going to change is from sequential, we're going to go down to metadata camera or uh, metadata angle, whichever one that you used originally to, to rename everything. So um, I use camera, so we're going to hit metadata camera. Um, we're going to click detect clips from the same camera. Okay, That should um, line everything up. And then we're also going to have clicked metadata camera number. So that's where it's going to detect the, uh, the clips from the same camera. Um, again, if you, um, if you did the angle numbers, use this one down here. It says angle. Okay. Uh, move source clips to the original clips bin. I like that. Shows you what you missed. And then we're going to hit create. Let uh, DaVinci do its thing. Hopefully it works. Okay. So uh, there's the clip set that we missed. Um, I'm sure they're just going to be the, the um, same clips that we saw before the family kind of sitting and uh, waiting for them to come. So hit OK. Um, we're going to go through and, and see what was missed. Um, so there there are a couple of important clips that did not um, grab up. Uh, you could go back and, and redo the multicam sequence. That's fine. That would probably um, grab them. Um, but for the sake of time, we're not going to do that. Um, so we're going to go over back over here. We're going to go to master timelines, create a new timeline. We're just going to call the timeline ceremony, uh, create back over here. And now we're going to drag this multicam sequence down to our timeline. We're going to right click it and go over to open in timeline. So now we can see all of our audio and all of our video is simplified, uh, just like Premiere Pro does. Um, we don't have 100 tracks to go through. We don't really got to pull much. We have all of our cameras, because we had three cameras um, that we named. We have three tracks, three video tracks. So that's exactly what we want, rather than them stacking up with the, the amount of clips that we have. Um, same with the audio. It all stacked up on uh, six tracks here, which is fine. Two of these tracks are getting deleted immediately, and the other four tracks are the ones that I'm going to be using. So uh, hopefully this helped out. This is just as easy as uh, Premiere Pro, if not better. Um, like I said, uh, trying to figure out the angle or camera number name um, to be able to mass name them i'm still trying to figure that one out i'm sure it'll, i'm sure it's something simple i just haven't um gotten there yet um but this is this is the easiest way to do i know there's third-party programs out there that'll do this for you but you know why pay for an extra subscription when it's it's already there and, and built into davinci so um i haven't found anything like this yet on youtube or the internet so hopefully this helps uh one of you guys out um yeah thanks for watching and Hopefully a 2024 wedding season is great for everyone.